<laughs> this man is relentless. Look here, guys. This man is a 95-year-old World War II veteran. And I'll tell you what. What he's doing right now, it keeps him alive. If it wasn't for mowing grass, Pops wouldn't have a lot to do. I tried to get him to come over here and uh, give, be my cameraman. And he said, nope, he had chores to do. And there you see him. He's at it. Man, he won't. <laughs> He loves his lawnmowers. Kudos to Pops for keeping my shooting range cleaned up maintenance like it needs to be. Hey everybody, Cold Steel Bill coming to you from out at the farm. It is a Monday afternoon and uh I've invited you to join me today to shoot. And as soon as Pops gets finished up down there, we're going to give him a hand and applause. I don't want to get smacked by the debris coming out in front of that thing, so I moved over here. Anyway, we got us a nice little shoot 'em up today. We got a 9mm out here today, and we're going to do a feature on it. And, uh,. I'll tell you all about it in just a minute. Y'all hang on. All righty, Pops is headed up to the top of the hill to hook up his little cart, and uh, he's going to come and bring it back down here in a minute. We're going to pull it off over on the trash heap and uh, the cutting pile. But this is the reason I've invited you to join me today. Today's subject is about blazer ammunition. No, eh, wrong. Nope, today's subject is about this little pistol right here. This is the pistol that America has loved to hate. When I say America, I'm talking about the general handgun culture. Why? Why does everyone hate the high point? Actually, I like the high point. To be truthful with you, <clears throat> I've only been dealing with handguns now for about four years, so I don't know all the ins and outs about all kinds of history of handguns and things of that nature like a lot of people do. You know, I'm the guy that knows 99.0% of the lyrics to the song, not positive what the name of the song is, and couldn't begin to tell you all the names of the band. But I do understand the band and know who they are and what they're about. So with all that said, let me explain this. The High Point, it is the cheapest, most inexpensive, brand new 9mm that you can purchase in the United States, to my knowledge. If you can get one cheaper, I don't know which one it is, but I'll tell you this much. Um, will it perform like a High Point? All right, now... This is something that I don't tell everybody. Again, like I said, I've only been dealing with handguns now for a few years. This was my first 9mm. The reason I bought a high point was simply because I wasn't sure about a 9mm. Okay? Compared to a 357 or a 45, I just wasn't sure about it. So, I bought a cheap, inexpensive 9mm. Alright. Take a break, go over and help Pops unload that trailer. All right, like I said, the High Point is uh, is not a very favored gun by gun enthusiasts, handgun enthusiasts. But the thing about it is, is this is a $200 gun. It'll hold its value, same thing that a 6 hour or a Glock will. I mean, you think about it. <laughs> you can buy a used High Point for about $50 less than you can buy a brand new one. What other handgun will do that? Like Uncle Joe, he's moving kind of slow. <laughs> Say hey to the world, Pops. <laughs> Way slow today. <laughs> you guys, this man right here is a World War II veteran. He's 95 years old, and he don't let shit stop him. Never has, and evidently never will. What we going for, Pops? 105, 110? Going, going to 100 anyway. 
Sweet, sweet. Hey, what'd you do when you were in the Army in World I, War II? I was an MP. An MP. Riding a motorcycle. Well, that doesn't surprise me none at all, or it shouldn't anyway. <laughs> Had a good time, bad time. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, well, let's get on back to our subject here. This is the high point. Like I said, this is the pistol that America loves to hate. Um, when I first got this high point, just like everybody says, oh, it don't feed right. Well, these little fingers right here on each side of the magazine, I took a pair of needle nose pliers and I tweaked them out to just, God, not even so much that I could even tell it. I've never had a feed problem since then. I have taken it apart once and polished the trigger. I wish I hadn't have done it because now it's probably got a trigger weight of about two pounds or less. All right. Again, with a high point, um, you got a nine round magazine, 10 round magazine, one in the chamber. And uh, it, this one has a tremendously, tremendously light trigger pull and that's my fault and uh so i have to remind myself whenever i pull it out go to shoot it keep your finger out of the trigger well until you're actually ready to pull the trigger which is a rule of thumb anyway but i shoot a lot of revolvers and shooting them double action you sort of get away from that rule okay but uh, we're going to practice it out here today for sure now we got Pops' ears all covered up over there. He's wearing his head protectors oh, yeah. correctly today. <laughs> Still yeah. sounds like you're in a drum, don't it? Not being in a drum now. <laughs> I can't hear nothing. All right, well, I'll try to talk loud. <laughs> all right, so here we are, all right? The high point. Like I said, this thing right here is... Uh, it's one of my favorite guns, and I guess maybe one of the reasons it's one of my favorites is simply because it was my first 9mm. And I do like it. <clears throat> As I said before, everyone loves to hate a high point. Why? Why? It is a functional gun. And given the difference between a high point and a sharp stick, or a liberal screaming, stop, don't hurt me, let me call a... Uh, social worker to come and chat with you before you murder me and my family well a high point is a very viable option for you you know uh, there have been times where shit I didn't have three dollars for a haircut let alone buy a two hundred dollar pistol but those days are gone and um, if you don't have a firearm say what you want you can call this thing a cheap pos if you want to but if you'll watch the demolition derby videos and damn near everybody else has ever done a i hate a high point gun video you'll see that these things are damn near indestructible so anyway the high point this gun was not designed to be used for law enforcement it wasn't designed to be used by the military i've taken this thing apart twice cleaned it, put it back together. Um, I didn't like it. They're a pain in the ass to work on. Like I said, you only get nine rounds out of them, which, you know, that's four more rounds than um, I actually get out of my 45 caliber Bulldog that I carry every day or my 40 caliber Smith & Wesson. So again, say what you want to say. Is it big? Is it heavy? Is it bulky? Is it ugly? Kind of like all of ours X. Yeah, it is. But, and this will be my last magazine. It only has a nine round magazine, exactly. But like I said,
functional. It will do what you need it to do when you need it to do it. So, fill the barrels with caulk, fill the barrels with concrete, fill the barrels with poop, fill it with whatever you want to fill it with and do your damnedest to blow this pistol up. And when you do it, video it. Now, I saw one video where a guy broke his uh, JHP in half. He broke the frame, and I don't think he did it other than some sort of nefarious means. But um, <clears throat> say what you want to say about High Point, brothers and sisters. High Point, Strassel's machine. And there's one thing about this pistol that many other pistols cannot claim. This pistol is solely made in the United States of America. It is all American made. Okay? By local. No, it's not a SIG. No, it's not a Kimber. But um, it will kill you all the same. So with all that said, Bob Gnarly channel, thank you very much for joining me here. I am Cold Steel Bill. And Pops is sitting over there waiting to tell you goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good day. I love you. I mean it. Adios, mi amigos. Au revoir. Bye.